It's the hottest toy on the market right now, but more than a toy, it could also be helping students with learning issues. Our Vince Gersoli took the toy out for a spin. Here's the spin on fidget spinners. I think it's a great name for it. It's a fidgety toy, and it's, it does this. It spins. <laughs> Building Block's toy store has plenty of beanie babies and rubber dinosaurs, but the only fidget spinner left in stock belongs to owner Catherine McHenry. I started playing with it, and I couldn't stop. It's now a seriously hot toy. In a month, the store sold close to 400 at roughly 20 bucks each. Ball bearings and the finger-held wheel keep its propeller spinning on and on, with an appeal not just for kids. When I'm doing this, yeah, I get it. 2000. 820 some. That's how many fidget spinners Will Amarantos and his son have sold out of the back of his car since last Thursday. We're talking about how we're struggling. And he's like, you just sell these fidget spinners. And next thing I know, I found a distributor and boom, it just blew up. Amarantos invested his Uber earnings and posted the spinners for sale on Facebook. My phone rings all day long. It'll be like two, three in the morning and my phone will still be chiming. And a lot of times parents are like, oh my God, I feel like this is like high school and we're doing drug deals. It allows you to uh, relax in some level. Child psychiatrist Louis Krauss says the toys are also proving useful for students with autism, anxiety, or ADHD. What I'm seeing with my patients is one after another, they're describing that it actually helps them focus. The light flickering is also really meditative and attractive and, and calming for them. So it has a calming effect. It's calming for me, too. <laughs> I guess today we're not in a no spin zone here at the station. The original 1997 patent for the fidget spinner has expired, which means just about anyone can make and sell a version of one, according to McHenry. And I understand your son is a he has, big fidget spinner. He right? has two of them now. Wow. He got another one for his birthday. And I told him we're doing a fidget spinner story. And he <laughs> said, he texted me back. He said, I'm going to record it and show my principal they're good and hopefully they won't ban them at school. Oh, <laughs> so he's, you have to let Erica play with it. There we go. It, it is pretty. And you know, you know what the parents love about it too? It's a quiet toy. So many of these toys are loud and drive parents nuts, but this is quiet. Mm, that's good. And, and they say something about that noise also soothing. is what calms right. people down and they yeah. can concentrate. You know, a couple months ago it was the Hatchimal, but now it's the spin. And it's incredible that it's revitalized. It's had a resurgence. I want mine back, though. Okay? I don't know. Right. I'm kind of partial are, to it already. We'll talk about this after the newscast. <laughs> you can't find them anywhere, as you pointed out, man. All right. Thanks, Vince. Thanks. Appreciate it.